it's hella lit. I built a coil gun. And this was due to a challenge that my brother likes to build different kind of shooting mechanisms with pressure, with uh, springs, whatever, but never managed to build a coil gun due to the electric difficulties. But this one had some issues. So I built a new coil gun, which is basically a similar design, but now has a power button and more LEDs. And LEDs make a difference. But how did I build it? It all started in Altium, where I drew the schematics. Those are basically the schematics. They have, they are separated into three pieces. The first one is the Atmega chip here, which powers the whole logic. Then of course the flashing connector, a trigger to power it. Then we have LEDs for each stage. We have the LDO, of course, to go from the 7.2 volts of the batteries to a constant 5 volts. The reset button, and not to forget, the display power button circuit, which is basically this one here, to just hold the power. And then here is the button itself. And then as well, we have the two batteries, the battery balancing connector and the boost circuit input. Then we have the first stage which gets triggered here, goes to the SCR, which then drives the coil, shown here. And then there are diodes, everything to protect it. And of course the capacitors, the three one, which charge the first stage. Then if we move on, we have the similar design here, here and here. The second, the third, fourth stage, which are all the same, all get driven by digital inputs of the Arduino and are getting powered by two capacitors each. Then of course, the most important thing, are LEDs, plenty of LEDs, which are also powered through a P-channel MOSFET over the 5 volts and with a LED power on pin, so I can turn them all on and off, or even if I put a PVM signal to it, then I can basically dim the LEDs. Yeah, that's all for the schematics. Yeah, and then if we look into the drawing of the PCB, we can see the two batteries, the four coils for each stage one, down there the nine capacitors with a 2223 arrangement, and in the back, in between the batteries, is the Atmega chip. So, after I was done with designing the PCB, I ordered it, and here it is. You can see the most important parts, like here for the SCR, then of course more LEDs here, 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 for each stage to see when they're charged. Then of course the connector for the coils, I made here one and here the other one. And to have backup, I made here another one and here another one, so I don't have to look how I wind it if I start from here to here or from here to here, because I haven't decided it at this point. Then of course some resistors, some more diodes and the big diodes from here to here and from here to here. Let's take a quick look at the parts that I used and then it's time to assemble it. Sadly I filmed the whole thing in portrait mode so you have to live with black borders on the edge. So I'm using 2200 microfarad capacitors, two 18650 battery holders, a boost back converter for 35 volts which I hacked to 45 volts basically, a few other small components like resistors and a lot of LEDs, then of course a laser diode to show where to shoot and then I used the S4055 SRCs for powering the coils and of course a holder for the Arduino. But that's it and in the next time lapse you can see how I assembled the whole thing. This is now the orange version, the blue version I didn't film, but it's the same PCB layout, the same parts, but only printed in blue instead of orange. And of course, more LEDs, because the orange version didn't have a lot of LEDs yet, but the schematics you saw were from the blue, so the second version. But now it's time to actually try it out. A bit more about the 3D printed parts can be found in my short series, and let's go! Look how clean it looks in the dark. It's hella lit. Shit. We are now here at my professional testing range. We have a balloon to test. I have my phone here to do slow motion. This is perfectly aligned to the balloon to see where I shoot it. And here I have the test subject 
and some projectiles. I'm using iFixit bits because they have all different shapes and forms. They are of course magnetic and they have the perfect length, something like this one here. Let's go. Works perfectly fine. Maybe something a little bit sharper. The only problem with them is due to their short nature, they tend to spin a bit around and don't hit the object perfectly fine. This is also due to the fact that I'm using a paper straw here in the middle as a guide rail and it's a bit thicker, maybe you can see it in here, yeah, it's a bit thicker than the iFixit bits. So the gun is charging right now, I think I'm going to use this screwdriver bit here as a test subject. It's charging right now, as you can see it's at, yeah, it's 45 volts, yeah, now it's done, as it lights up blue. First we refill it from this side and now it's testing time. Can you see? Yeah, it's this weird charging behavior. Now let's see if I can make it, if I aim at the right place. It's hard with the camera. So as you can see, it worked pretty good. The balloon is in its, in its parts, here's the rest. Only a few issues with it. The first one being that of course, it's only 50, 45 volts and the capacitors go up to 100. This is due to the boost buck converter only reaching 45. So I need to find a new one, but it's not too easy to find one that is between 100 volts and works with 7.2 volts as an input. Second thing, the SRCs can only be triggered but not turned off. So the coils also pull it a bit back, so it's not perfect. And the last thing is, all the stages are triggered by timing. So if I hold it up, the timing is different than down or further up. So it's not fully the same strength all the time. So maybe the third approach or the third prototype I'm going to build, which I'm going to build for sure, is going to be with optical sensors. But yeah, let's see how the next prototype works then. But this will take a while for sure. But I keep building on it. Thank you for watching and see you in one of my next videos. Don't forget to like and subscribe.